impossible. I'm very impossible. It can't be a good glass of chateau de chasselet, eh, Josiah? <laughs> hey, hey, right there, Obadiah. Yeah. Who'd have thought 40 years ago we'd be sitting here drinking chateau de chasselet? Aye. <laughs> right. In them days, we was glad to have the price of a cup of tea. Aye, right. a cup of cold tea. Right. Without well, milk, more sugar, more tea. Right. <laughs> In a cracked cup and all. We never had a cup. We used to drink out of a rolled-up newspaper. The best we could manage was to suck on a piece of damp cloth. <laughs> but you know, we were happy in those days, though we were poor. Because we were poor, my old dad used to say to me, money doesn't buy you happiness, son. He was right. I was, I was happier then. And we had nothing. We used to live in a tiny old tumble-down house with great holes in the roof. A house? <laughs> you were lucky to have a house. We used to live in one room, 26 of us, no furniture, and half the floor was missing. <laughs> we were all huddled in one corner for fear of falling. <laughs> you were lucky to have a room. We used to have to live in corridor. Oh, we used to dream of living in a corridor. <laughs> Would have been a palace for us. We used to live in an old water tank at a rubbish tip. <laughs> Don't walk up every morning by having a load of rotting fish dumped all over us. House. Well, what would I say, house? It were only a hole in the ground, covered by a couple of foot of torn canvas, but it were house to us. We were evicted from our hole in the ground. <laughs> we had to go and live in lake. You were lucky to have a lake. There were 150 of us living in a shoebox in the middle of motorway. Cardboard box? Aye. You were lucky. <laughs> We lived for three months in a rolled-up newspaper in a septic tank. <laughs> we used to have to get up at six in the morning, clean the newspaper, eat a crust of stale bread, go to work down the mill, four, eight, fourteen hours a day, week in, week out, for six months a month, and when we got home, our dad would thrash us to sleep with his belt. <laughs> Luxury. <laughs> we used to have to get out the lake at 3 a.m., clean the lake, Eat a handful of hot gravel, work 20 hours a day at mill for twopence a month, come home, and Dad would beat us about the head and neck with a broken bottle, if we were looking. <laughs> well, of course, we had it tough. We used to have to get up out of shoebox in the middle of the night and lick the road clean with our tongues. We had half a handful of freezing cold gravel, worked 24 hours a day at mill for four months every six years, and when we got home, our dad would slice us in two with bread knife. <laughs> right. <clears throat> I used to get up in the morning at half past ten at night, half an hour before I went to bed. <laughs> Eat a lump of freezing cold poison. Work 28 hours a day at mill and pay mill owner to let us work there. And when I got home, our dad used to murder us in cold blood each night and dance about on our graves, singing Alleluia. Uh, <laughs> now you try and tell the young people of today that, and they won't believe you. Nope. Nope. <laughs> 